Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60, and today I am here just to chat. I'm not going to be talking about any products. I'm just easing back into making videos. It has been since I think the last time I uploaded was January 10th. But I do want to thank you all who have continued watching my videos and leaving me comments. A lot of you just checked on how I was doing. And I'm going to talk about Pat later in the video, but there were just some things I was just going to talk about today. I know I have the best subscribers than anybody does, and you are appreciated so, so much. You know how crazy the year 2020 was. Well, 2021 has been super interesting, too. On, I think it was this Tuesday before the 15th, we had an ice storm. And before the ice could go melt and go away, we had the big storm that so many of you all have, you had, that so many of you all had. States that seldom see snow and frigid temperatures experienced it, and, and, and I'm, I really hate it for you. Since I'm from Illinois, I'm used to the snow. But the snow we just had had us in our home from the 15th until the 23rd. So. We, we had electricity the whole time. I was prepared. We have a gas fireplace and a gas stove. And we were very fortunate that we didn't lose power. In times like this, Jim really likes my preparedness. Uh, a lot of times he doesn't, but he really appreciated this time. You all that have watched me for a while know that I have grandsons that play sports who are in high school. Well, in Illinois, we didn't have a football season. My son-in-law is the head coach of football so he didn't have a football season my oldest grandson didn't and, and neither did my one that's a sophomore he goes to another town well a week or so ago illinois made the decision that we would have basketball followed by football no matter how big your gym is each there can only be 50 there can only be 50 people in the gymnasium. We live in a small town, but our gymnasium holds about 5,000 people. So 50 people can go and watch the ball game. So each player gets two tickets. But the nice thing is I get to watch my grandson that goes to school here. He's a senior. I get to watch him. It's live streamed. And my grandson, who is a sophomore, about 40 minutes from here, his basketball games are live streamed, and I've really been enjoying that. As soon as basketball is over, which is mid-March, they'll go straight into football, both of them will. Uh, they have to wear masks at all time, playing ball, and they're, they're happy that they're playing ball. They really are, so I'm, I'm very happy for them. Because I tell you what, I can remember when I was a senior in high school, I thought to myself, if some, if I didn't get to do something, I almost thought it was the end of the world. So I'm thinking all these young people who make it through these hard times are going to have some really good coping skills that they were that they were forced to use so much early and earlier in life than we were, than I was. I just really have not been that interested at all in makeup today. I have on mascara and lip gloss. The Je ne sais quoi lip gloss stain that I've loved forever. I like all the ones from it, but it just it's perfect when you're wearing a mask because it doesn't doesn't uh, stain your mask and you have a little bit of color on your lip. But I just haven't been into wearing makeup. I did purchase a few things like in December and in January, but not much. And and I think a little bit this month, but. Most of it wasn't makeup, but, but I do have some things that I've really enjoyed, so I will talk about that in an upcoming video. You know, I've always been one that really appreciated the Ulta reward system, how they, how they give their rewards out. And I've always worked on, you know, using my points and ordering my things when it's like triple points or something. I did not hardly spend any money at Ulta in 2020. I didn't even get close to the first rung of, I think it's platinum. I mean, I didn't even get close. 
and the highest level is diamond. And I have been diamond the last couple of years, but not last year. But I did get an email recently. I guess a lot of people didn't make it either because they said you will remain diamond throughout this year. But I haven't bought a thing from Ulta. And I know I'll get back into it, but I'm just not in a hurry to. I'm just pretty happy with everything that I have. I Companies, I haven't wanted them to send me anything just because I just haven't. Everything I have that I use, I really like. And maybe something will come out that I'm interested in, but you're not going to learn a whole lot of new things from me because I'm not trying a lot of new things at all. I appreciate all your warm and kind comments that you left on my last video when I was talking about losing my friend Pat. You all have suffered. There's so, there are so many of you that have had huge losses in your lives and, and it's just so hard to deal with. It really is. And I'm sorry for your losses. But I wanted to give you a little bit more information on Pat, and then 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 we'll be okay. We'll just I just wanted to, her her January first was a normal day. She got up, she went to mass, she cooked ham and beans. She just had a normal day, and as I said in in that video, her husband was going to bed and she was going to stay up and do some sewing, and she didn't come to bed and he checked on her and she was gone. Well, I do know that Pat is always going to be with me the rest of my life and that if I am good, I'll get to meet her in heaven. Something I never shared with you, Pat had a daughter that she lost to cancer three years ago last October. And I was filming during that time and that was such a hard time for me to film because I knew what she, she'd been going through. And her daughter suffered with cancer for quite a few years. Well, I get some satisfaction knowing that I know that her daughter was in heaven waiting for Pat to join her. And also joining Pat was her mom and dad and her brother. They were all in heaven waiting for her. You know, I mentioned we were best friends since birth. We even spent Christmas Eve together as families. That's how close our families were. We would go to midnight mass after midnight mass, we would go to Pat's, we'd stay a little while, and then we'd go home and uh, wake up and Santa Claus had been there. But we were just a real close, we were just very, very close. Pat's oldest child is a son, and he is a priest. It, he started out in the Covington, Kentucky area. Well, he was able to preside over Pat's funeral and I was able to watch it live streamed. I wasn't, I could not attend, but both of my children did attend and, and he did. Pat, I know, was so proud of him. I plan on starting my every other Sunday routine. I know that I, the videos that I want to do, I have uh, some things that I purchased. I have some favorites. I'm going to have some empties, believe it or not. I had like one empties last year. I, I'm doing better trying to save the things. Would you believe I have now derma rolled my face for six months all over? I've been derma rolling it for, oh, for years before that, but I just started including my cheeks. So I'm going to do a comparison of what my face looked like six months ago to what it looks like today. And then I have my yearly skincare update video that I'm planning on doing. So I've got quite a few things that I want to do. But mostly I wanted to say hi today. Wanted you to know I am doing fine. Jim is doing fine. I'm knocking on wood right now. And up until this point, we have remained healthy. Thank you so much for watching, for spending some time with some of your precious time with me today. And it is all good. I'll see you in my next video and you take care. We are still be at home. But this snow had us in the our home that I am doing. I'm just, I bet I'm I'm just going to fill you in on what's going on around here. You know, I have don't that are out of school.
that are out of high school. And I have one that, that are left in, in the forced to use early. We get to watch it on 